This comes on the background of uh, that independent review that they had uh, brought in due to Leon Black and his previous professional relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. We are getting the results of that review. What are some of your key takeaways that we are getting from that? Well, there's a few things, Taylor. One is that they are changing their board governance. They're expanding their board. They're adding some members of Apollo as well as new external members to this board. This was a board that was very closely held for a very long time, included Black himself, included Robert Kraft, among other people, um, but very closely held board in the past. Then on top of that, they have also named importantly, huge, huge news here, that Mark Rowan will be the CEO of Apollo. This is a firm that was founded by Leon Black, uh, co-founded by Mark Rowan and Josh Harris. Mark Rowan uh, had taken a bit of a step back in recent months, uh, what they called a semi-sabbatical. So that Mark is taking over is A, a very big deal for a firm that is almost synonymous with Leon Black, as well as surprising because there's Josh Harris there as the co-founder founder as well. Uh, this has always been a big yeah. uh, parlor game on Wall Street as to what the next generation of this firm would be. They talk about the holistic view and experience that Mark is going to bring, well equipped to continue I'm driving sorry, innovation can, um, they see overall. Right, Shanali, can think, you hear me? I don't think she I don't think she can hear you, Caroline. Uh, so, Shanali, I mean, just to kind of pick up on, on this idea here, I mean, there were a lot of rumblings a few years ago that, you know, they needed a secession plan. And Mark Rowan, of course, his name was out there. There was a lot of turnover at Apollo because there was some concerns that there wasn't a secession plan in place. So whatever's going on with this, you know, Epstein uh, thing, this sort of predated that. And I am curious, as when we talk about some of these firms and that have done well and had this sort of legendary status on Wall Street, why don't we start to see a little bit more of a secession plan out there, the way we demand of other public corporations? Well, well that's interesting because the private equity industry in particular, as you say, they're the new guys, right? They're yeah. not as old as a Goldman Sachs, right? Yeah. There's only a couple decades old here. But again, the founders are getting older. But with that said, I have to say that uh, the idea of Leon Black taking any step back from Apollo is uh, still hard to wrap your head around, right. right? At Apollo, for a number of years, they really have been elevating new leaders. So we have seen that. We have seen that at KKR. We've seen that at Carlisle. And mm. so this is really turning a page here in quite a big way. A little bit more of Mark Rowan. What they've always said about him is he's kind of the quieter, um, kind of brains behind a lot of these operations. Mm -hmm. And he's seeing his leadership style will be a change.